Welcome to the NWI.com Political Roundtable for Thursday, March 27th. I'm Robert Blaskowitz, Assistant Managing Editor of The Times. Join with me today, Doug Ross, Editorial Page Editor of The Times. Uh, we have breaking news today to get to, uh, to talk about. Uh, just this morning, uh, FBI agents and IRS agents were seen at the Calumet Township Trustee's Office uh, going in and they emerged uh, midday, I think shortly after noon, with some boxes, with a computer. Uh, so obviously going in there looking for records, uh, no one was, uh, the, the, um, um, the subpoena I think was sealed, so no one was saying what it was about. Um, however, there have been uh, some, some scrutiny uh, on the trustee's office in terms of uh, spending, administrative spending, and use of take-home cars. Uh, the timing couldn't be worse for uh, Trustee Mary Elgin, could it, Doug? Well, right, because she's up for re-election this year. You know, here we are. Um, the uh, primary election is in May, and uh, so, you know, we're facing a, a, a really tight time frame. Now, we did have our endorsement interview. She's running against uh, Gary City Councilwoman Kim Robinson, and uh, um, that was a really lively exchange between the two. Uh, Kim was saying things about, uh, uh, you know, for example, do you have employees who are working at home? Uh, and, you know, uh, the, the mm -hmm. inference, of course, is that they're relatives. Yeah. And so uh, um, there's, you know, maybe, maybe that's what the feds are checking into. We don't know. Uh, but, you know, um, you know, of course, they have to check out all these allegations. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been spending a lot of time in Porter County. So welcome back to Lake County. And meanwhile, as the campaign goes on, that, that kind of hangs over it. So Right. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, otherwise, uh, the big news today was uh, Governor Pence uh, signing the bill uh, that will bring uh, $4 million a year uh, toward... 400. Four, right. four, uh, oh, sorry, four sorry. Million, $4 million Oh, you're talking about Senate Bill 367. Senate okay. Bill 367, yes. We were talking two different pieces of okay. legislation. <laughs> right, right. Um, to uh, go toward uh, the South Shore expansion effort. Uh, so certainly a step... Uh, you know, Pete Visklowski, uh our congressman, has been a real strong proponent of this effort uh, and is currently going around uh, trying to drum up the support from local municipalities who now must kick in their share as well. Right. And, you know, um, the idea was that the $4 million a year is the operating money for the first five mm -hmm. years. That'll accumulate, you know, your interest and, mm -hmm. and so forth. So, so that'll uh, build up to be the, the operating cost for the first five years mm -hmm. of, of the uh, train, you know, once it's built. Um, you know, the, the others have to, the local money has to go in for debt service because mm -hmm. uh, it's going to take a ton of money to match the, you know, half a billion basically that, that the uh, um, uh, federal government's kicking in for this. Yeah. It's a hugely expensive process, but uh, uh, by, you know, kicking in a smaller amount, then you can pay the, the annual debt service mm -hmm. payment. So, you know, Griffith and Sherrillville are the latest to sign up for it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's, that's a huge, huge development. Um, Congressman Vosklosky set this March 31st deadline. So that's Monday. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know of any others uh, considering it between now and then. So, right. um, so I don't know that that deadline will be met, but um, you know they're they're at least making some headway toward that. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a really good development. Yeah, um, and it's not the only infrastructure uh, development going on here. Well, that's why my confusion yeah. is uh, right. I I you know just. Now, I hate to say I just flew in, boy, are my arms mm -hmm. tired, but uh, I just drove in from uh, Valparaiso to our Munster studio where we're recording this, and uh, um, Governor Pence was there at mm -hmm. Valparaiso University signing the legislation that frees up uh, up to $200 million a year in extra money for roads, uh, and he was talking about, you know, we have to, you know, maintain what we have, and of course, all the mm -hmm. potholes this year, that's going to be right. hard work. Uh, we have to maintain what we have, we have to finish what we started, and then we have to plan for the future. Well, you know, of course, the plan for the future in terms of roads would build the you know, the Annex Expressway. Mm -hmm. uh, some of this money will be going to adding lanes to uh, I-65, you know, in, in Lake County, so that'll help. Um, and, you know, south, basically south approaching where the, where the Atlanta Expressway will connect. Right. So, you know, that's a good development right there. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, you know, a huge traffic uh, uh, nightmare in that stretch of I-65 too. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a big boost. Uh, what he didn't say was he didn't mention anything about Klein Avenue, which of course, you know, 
is the uh, elephant in the room here, uh, that that's going to be privatized. Uh, and that was, you know, taking care of what you've got, but uh, I think we're past that point. That's just going to be private now. Right, right. So, yep. Well, that's all the time we have this week. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll be back next week with another political roundtable.